Merge is Bungie's own map editor and has been used in various forms to create maps for Marathon, Marathon 2 Durandal, and now Marathon Infinity. The version of Forge included with this package is more complete and more powerful than any that have gone before it. Forge uses a simple 2D approach to pseudo 3D polygonal map making, much like the blueprint of a house. It also uses a separate 3D approach to texturing and fine tuning the map's look and feel. Forge has the ability to pre-calculate certain aspects of the map, in essence making maps leaner, meaner, and faster. And it will also build maps that don't trigger the annoying, not made with Bungie tools message when launched. Once we launch Forge, we can begin the process of creating a map level by selecting New Scenario from the File menu. Immediately, you're presented with a dialog box. You can name your map anything you like. In this case, I'm going to call our tutorial, Anybody Bring the Bandages. You'll also have to choose the general nature of gameplay, the mission type, if not a network level, and the level's look and feel. For a little change of pace, you can select a different environment type. In a vacuum level, a player must use and replenish his oxygen tanks, and only the pistol and fusion weapons will function. In a rebellion, sympathetic aliens will fight alongside the player, low gravity offers a low-G alien environment, and finally, in a magnetic level, the motion sensor is inoperative most of the time and otherwise is prone to giving false readings. We'll start by creating a simple map using the basic water texture set, a daylight background, and a single player game type. Our level's mission will be to kill everything and so we'll choose extermination. And we'll stick to the standard environment type. After we've clicked OK, we're presented with a small tool palette and a grid. Forge and Marathon use a standard unit of measure known as a world unit. One world unit is about two meters or about seven feet cubed. Looking at our grid, we can see a series of darker vertices, subdivided by eight smaller increments, which together form one world unit. A marathon map can be up to 62 by 62 world units in width and length, but no larger. If a map component is dragged off the edge of the grid, it will wrap around to the other side and corrupt the map. Ceilings by default are one world unit in height, just accommodating the marine who stands about six feet tall. The height, the floors, and ceilings are fully editable, though, from negative nine world units deep to nine world units tall, or a total vertical height of 18 units. Now that we have an understanding of the basics, we can start the fun stuff, building a simple level. 